What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna go through how ASAP Rocky's Praise the Lord was made on FL Studio. As a huge thank you to 40k subscribers, I will be releasing three remakes tonight. The first one is the most simple, it's Praise the Lord by ASAP Rocky. The next one is Pop Smoke, Welcome to the Party, let's go. This beat was made by Skepta, and for my Patreon supporters, I will be making the FLP available to you guys. Praise the Lord uses this sample from an Indian Stroll panpipe from Apple Garage Band Jam Pack 5, and it starts off at 109 beats per minute, and we will be speeding it up to 160. So this is the sample at 109 beats per minute. There isn't a VST that's made off the Andean Stroll panpipe, but the closest one I could find was this Bolivian panpipe. This is a contact library, I guess. It's only the one preset. This is what it sounds like without any external effects. And for external effects, we're adding some RC20 retro color, and we're using some wobble, some distortion, and we're actually automating the distortion. So if you come into the playlist, you'll see that at the start of every note, the distortion increases. So this is the before and after. So that's emphasizing the transient, which makes it sound a little bit more realistic. After that, we're adding some space, some magnetic, taking up the tone, taking up the width. Then we're adding some flanges, some sound goodizer to make it sound a bit more colorful. And then we're cutting out the low end, anything below 500 Hertz using parametric EQ2. So far, it's gonna sound like this. That still sounds super dry, so we're adding an X-Band 2, and we're using this Ocarina preset, which sounds like this. So that's adding some more ambience to the sample. You can probably tell that this is really slow at the moment. It's at 109 beats per minute, and the actual song is at 160. So when we take it into a new project, we're gonna speed it up. First thing you'll notice if you're paying really close attention is that the pan pipe pans from the left to the right ear. So the first half pans to the left and the second half pans to the right. And what's interesting about this is if we get into a bit of music psychology is this sample is very much a question and answer. So the first half is the question. And the second half is following up with the answer. It's like a second voice. And if you're wearing headphones, this is gonna be emphasized by panning the first half to the left and then the second half to the right. So that's really separating them into two different voices. Next up, we have this pad. And this was made using two different presets from Sakura. The first one is STR Violin FG, and we're turning off the reverb. Then the next one is the Bode 6, which is like the first preset you'll find when you open up Sakura. And we're turning off reverb on this one as well. As for effects, we're adding in some flanges, some isotope vinyl, taking it down to 1950 to give it an old school effect. Then RC20 Retro Color, and we're automating the tone. This brings me to my next point, which is how do you automate external plugins in FL Studio? This isn't super clear. So if I go into a native plugin like Parametric EQ2, you can just right click on one of these parameters and go create an automation clip. But if you're using an external VST or plugin, if you right click on one of these parameters, it's not gonna give you the same option to create an automation clip. So there are a few ways you can do this. The way I like to do it is right click on toolbars, go edit, bring in this add feature. So say if I wanted to automate the digital, I would tweak this parameter. Then I would go to add, then go automation for last tweaked parameter. And this will create an automation clip right here for the digital. So if I create an automation clip and we go back into RC20 Retro Color, we can see that the digital is now being automated. Then we have Parametric EQ2, just bringing up the low end a little bit, then Love Filter, and we're using this preset Low Pass 2. So everything all together, it was gonna sound like this. Then we have this clap, which is made up of two different claps. 
Then we have a perk, which is the Zay perk. And it plays at these points here. We have the closed hat, which just plays this basic two-step pattern. And that plays with this open hat, which hits at the end of every two bars. We have the identical kick, which you'll find in a whole bunch of different drum kits. And it looks like this. You can see it's identical by comparing the waveforms. It matches perfectly. And that plays with this 808. When I was doing research for this song, I saw a lot of people recommending the overused 808, which sounds like this. And that sounded really close, but it wasn't 100% accurate. So I found this second 808, which is even closer. This 808 was probably modeled off the overused 808, but it doesn't sound exactly the same. So everything playing together sounds like this. Then after 16 bars, the sample goes down one octave. So it's gonna sound like this. And that's honestly it for the song. It's really simple. There's one part right here before the chorus where it cuts out when he goes, my shades, Dior, my pants, velour. Here we're just cutting out the instrumental every third and fourth bars. That's it for the remake. The next one is Pop Smoke, Welcome to the Party. You've got to watch it. That video is coming up right now. I will leave a link to it up there or in the comments below. See you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the background music, you can check their channel in the link in the description. And if you want to get your own music on this channel, hit me up on Instagram at Aiden Kenway and I will use your music. All right. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Boy.